When Sonia was first born, we were just absolutely elated. And when we brought her home, she was just so happy and beautiful. Everything was wonderful. But a few weeks into um, her life, she started to have a lot of digestive issues that which alarmed us. And by the time we reached eight months old, um, a lot of the gastrointestinal issues had resolved, but her milestones were not being met and she was delayed. We decided to take her to geneticists where she, they did additional testing um, for Rett syndrome, including other genetic abnormalities. And that was when we found out that she had Rett syndrome. The challenges that she faces all the time is that she is not able to feed herself. She doesn't have functional use of her hands. When she hurts, she can't tell us exactly where it hurts. All she can do is that she can cry. She doesn't walk. She's in a wheelchair. Things that come very easy to all of us um, are all very hard for her. We felt so desolate and alone when we first received um, Sonia's diagnosis. And when we found that IRSF was available and all of the outpouring of information, we just felt so supported and it, it gave us a way to move forward. There were RET parents that were riding from California on their bikes all the way from the West Coast to the East Coast and ending their ride in Jacksonville. When I met all of those families, um, I saw that they all had hope in their eyes and they all had hope for their daughters too, but they didn't give up. And it, it spurred me to do the same for Sonia too, because just because she's got this this debilitating disease, it doesn't mean that it, it's over. We we had to keep going. So it, it did it did give me strength to move on and contribute where I could. I needed to play a part in it too. I, I chose IRSF because they focus on two things in tandem. It's not one or the other, it, it's both of them. And it's the fact that they support research, which is super important. You, you need um, so many resources for that. But then um, they also support families. Families need that support too. They, they need um, that feel to keep going on. So it was important for me to be part of an organization like that. We need your support. There is so much more work that, that needs to be done. We need to put our shoulders and our backs into this momentum and just keep pushing it forward so that we can see it through all the way. What does Sonia's future look like? I don't know what it's gonna look like. I have my wants and I have my dreams. The short wish list is to raise awareness. People understand what Sonia has, that she can communicate. She's a smart girl, she's aware, she has feelings, she has joys, her features that people will accept her and see her beauty that we all see. So that's what I want for her. My dream is that she'll be able to hug me and kiss me and say, I love you.